this story is talking uh, in the beginning. It talk about Abraham. Abraham, you know, right? Yeah. The Jews and the Arab consider he is their forefather. Yeah. So this is talking about Abraham. That God loves him very much. This folklore, I said, is one of those stories talking about Abraham, who has realized the presence of one God, of the God, yeah, the one and only God. In contrary to all other uh, natural worshiping systems before, you know, like many gods at that time. Yeah, worshiping many gods and many uh, um, religious systems at that time. We don't repeat it to anyone else, and only in the sacred chamber, any chamber that is chosen for initiation. That is the sacred and secret confidential chamber, and only you and the high priest will know the name at that time. So we have many, many nice, good, very good educational stories, truly. Interesting, very interesting to get to know the Jews, yeah, the Jewish people and their beliefs and their history and the hardship they had to go through since the time of uh, Moses, yeah, Moses who led them through the desert. Please keep watching to find out more. Can also join. Yes, so master. Are here. Can you see me or not yet? I I will I will do my magic trick I never did before. I'm trying. If it doesn't work, don't blame. <laughs> I'm so excited. Huh? Can you see me now? Uh, it's calling. Yes. Huh? Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Getting older, gray hair and everything. Look at me too, me too. So I joined the club, huh? Okay. <laughs> wow, wonderful. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe we did this. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I can't believe this, you know? I didn't know it's possible. <laughs> I never thought like that before. You don't look too bad. Huh? How do I look? <laughs> okay, okay. You know, because uh, uh, before I asked, and they said, oh, it's very tricky, or the face doesn't look good. I say, what the heck? My face <laughs> <laughs> my face look always the same, good or not? Right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad there? Yeah, it no, it nice. looks good. It looks good. Really? Yes, yes really. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well. Okay. I just want to test, so I'm reading you a story, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Master. Girls, can you see me? Yes, master. The girls, not you. <laughs> you are girls? Are you girls? <laughs> can you see me? Girls? No, no yeah, master. No? The girls are no. audio only. Okay, okay, next time we update, we update, okay? Yes, yes master. master. We're getting better all the time, you know that, right? Yes, yeah. master. This is the proof. You see, I can see you, you can see me. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> That's why I say, oh, we do it right now before... Before I lost it, yeah, today it feels good. It feels good for a change. I mean, there are some bad things going on, you know, always. <laughs> but this is good, good. This is one of the good things to, to, to balance it, yeah? To balance it, yeah? Yes, yes, yes Master. master. Uh, as you know, Jesus, he had one uh, a Judah, huh? Yes. yes. I have many. <laughs> I have many. <laughs> I even have one recently, you know, even today. Ah, today bad news. You know, not not in person, just through through uh, you know mails and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But never mind. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> what I mean is, I have more Judas than Jesus. Imagine that, huh? <laughs> I mean, I yeah, Judas is everywhere. Yeah. Just because I live a little longer than the Lord Jesus, otherwise, if he lives as long as I now. 
He probably had more than I do, yeah? Knowing that time of our planet. That time, yeah? Yes, Master. This time we are already better off, right? Mm. Yes, yes, Master. Okay. Like this, I have something to look toward because before I sit alone, talk alone, I always look at the ceiling. <laughs> you can see me, remember, my face always looking up because I don't know what else to do. I just look anywhere, you know what I'm saying? And my eyes are always upward or sideways because I have no... Right now, can you see my eyes in front of you? Yes, yes Master. Okay. I'm trying because my, my iPhone recording is on the side, you know? So if I put in the middle, then I won't see you, okay? Yes, Master. So like this is better than nothing already, yes. right? Yes, Master. <laughs> At least I will a little bit look in the front, then huh? look front-wise, because always before you saw my conference, my face always look anywhere, right? Because yes, <laughs> I don't have any... I don't have any object in front of me, you see? Just yeah. blank screen and myself, which I see every day in the mirror when I brush my teeth, so I don't, I don't feel anything interesting <laughs> that I have to look at my face. <laughs> when I look like this, you see my eyes in front of you or not? Yes. Look yes. at you. Yes. Ah, yeah, because now I have excuse. I have something uh, good looking to look for. Yeah, wow, my God, look at all of you, sunshine. Now I'm reading to you. Oh, you have a choice, okay? I saw Vietnamese here. I have to translate while I'm reading to you. Uh, we have Vietnamese folklore, you know, stories. Yes. Old stories or Jewish stories. We never told Jewish stories before, eh? No. 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 Uh, or, or Buddhist stories. So which one do you want? Oh, you have a spoiled with choice, my God. <laughs> what do you want? Story. Vietnamese? Jewish. 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 Jewish? Yeah. Jewish. Buddhist? Jewish. 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 Oh, man, you Jewish guys. So you don't look like Jewish. Why you want Jewish story? <laughs> Since it's Christmas coming. Okay, good, good. Uh, I had it prepared here anyway. I thought that's what you want. Look at that. I have miracles. I can read your minds. I know what you wanted. You see that? <laughs> huh? Okay. Now, we have three books, you know, translated in Vietnamese. Yeah. We have to thank the author. And then... Uh, tr- Thank the translator beforehand, yeah? If we can contact them, we will make some little donation, yeah? This is translated in Vietnamese. Okay. You know, maybe we can make some contribution to some Jewish synagogue, yeah? Yes. Okay. Or some Jewish community, yeah? I will copy the page where it says who wrote this. Actually, it's not a translation is an author who has uh, collected all these stories and has also some of his uh, comments on it. And uh, so in this page you will find uh, the printing, the production company, and also who is the author of this book. And I will ask some of you to help me to ask some uh, responsible person to contact them in order to offer some of our gratitude in uh, financial support. Even though we don't have this for commercial or anything, but uh, out of respect, we offer some financial support. You will find uh, the photo that I made of this, of the page where you find the printing company and the author's name and try to contact them, please. Yes, Master. Thank you. All right. So I started without too much ado, hey? Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, you don't look too bad. So what are they talking about? They told me the face in the computer doesn't look good. I don't look too bad. I mean, I look like every day. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> special. Mm, oh, yeah, but the story just left now. I lost the story. I can't believe that. Very interesting. Jewish. Jewish story. I don't have time to read these now. When I was in somewhere else, you know, I lived in the storeroom before, I had more time. So every day I read some stories. Mm-hmm. And not every day, but almost. Like, I did my job before, it's easier for me. What did I do? I just wrote it, you know, the comments or the corrections on the, on the paper with my handwriting. 
and you guys take care of everything. And then you had to print it out for me, next one, and then print it back again, you know? Now I have to do everything. You don't have to type my handwriting. You don't have to even uh, send me printed out paper. We save a lot of papers, and I'm very happy. Yeah, but I had a lot more work. So now I don't have time to read even one story ever since I left that place. I don't have time anymore. You understand? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's not too good, though. Somebody is taking your photo, yeah? There's yes. a cameraman. Yes. Wow, then he could not even sit down and see me at all? Huh? Hey. <laughs> Maybe. We oh, can, Master. It's I, just I saw him the, behind there. Yeah? What? The camera is not very wide, so he's, uh -huh. he's, ah. he's moving the camera so you can see yeah, all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next you, time you, we have a wider camera. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Maybe next time, okay? This is better than nothing already, right? You yes. can see you happy, no? Yes, yes. yes Master. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Master. That's the main point, yeah? The main point that you see. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes <laughs> The one and only. <laughs> the irreplaceable. Yes. yes. Superwoman. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go to the story. This story is uh, titled, um, that's the, the, uh, the city guardian. Yeah? Jewish story. Jewish old story. Yeah. I mean, folklore story. This story is talking, uh, in the beginning, it talks about Abraham. Abraham, you know, right? Yeah. The Jews and the Arabs consider he is their forefather, yeah? So this is talking about Abraham, that God loves him very much. So God said to him first, you know, because they put it in quotation marks. They did not say anything yet. I just read along, okay? And then I might explain. Okay, now this is what God told Abraham. You love the, the righteousness and you hate uh, the wickedness. Yeah. Therefore, uh, God, your God, uh, has chosen you to anoint. Put oil. <laughs> That's what they say, put oil in here. Yes, anoint yes, the sir. head. So both you and the oil, the meaning the, um, the anointment, are happy. Because you are anointed, you are so you're happy. Yeah. I have promoted you uh, above, uh, above all of the so-called your equals, probably similar citizens or something, same position, but he's above, above all of them. That's what God told. Oh, but this is in the... Uh, in the Bible, 45, 8. Uh, this phrase uh, has been mm, described about uh, Abraham, Abraham, uh, the one who loves God. Uh, under, under the wings of Sekina. Any Jews here? You want the Jewish story? Sekina? Ah, I know. That is uh, the, also one of the, the names that people uh, call God when God has to uh, uh, go down into the world to uh, guide, to lead the Israeli people. Uh, in the sign of uh, something like uh, uh, like a like a cloud, a group of clouds, uh, or maybe the fire in the bush. When Israeli people uh, were lost, you know, walking and and searching for their promised land, forty years in the desert, in the wild, or maybe appears as the light on top of their tents. Or maybe appears in, in the church of Israel, Jerusalem. That's what Shekinah means God. Yeah, they call God like that. Just like the Muslims call God Allah, right? Yes. For that time, yes. All right, good. I have even a footnote. Oh, wonderful book. It's just Vietnamese. <laughs> I'm stuck sometimes with 
with the Vietnamese to English. But it's better than English to Vietnamese. <laughs> I have forgotten how to express, you know, more, uh, how I say, eloquently in Vietnamese. So you see, sometimes I talk in a group of Vietnamese, I'm talking like one of those that just came out of the cave, oh, which I did, actually, most of the time. <laughs> Abraham often uh, ponder and uh, talk to himself, saying thus, How much longer do we have to focus on labor work? It is really not worthy when we have to obey the, the body for any other things except the earth, because the earth produces uh, vegetables and fruits. Thus, uh, keep us alive, yeah, yeah, sustain us. Yes. Yeah. But we have to see the the earth also needs rain, huh? Mm. If there's no rain, then uh, oh, he said that. Yeah, he said if the sky doesn't open to allow rain to come down to the earth, then uh, the earth also cannot produce anything. So Abraham changed his mind. He was thinking that anything else, you know, uh, belongs to the physical. Mm, nothing is better, better than the earth, because the earth produces so many nutritious products to keep us alive. But then he was thinking again, no, but the earth needs rain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so, so he thinks the earth is not the, the number one. <laughs> All right. So then he's thinking, oh no, then uh, only the, you know, the sky is worthy for us to worship, you see? Because before he was thinking, oh, everything just to take care of the body is not worthy, you know? Working, working just to earn something to eat or to survive, that's not worthy. So the earth is better. We should better concentrate to worship the earth, you know, not worship the body, not take care too much of the body. And then afterward he was thinking, oh, but the earth, you know, needs the rain. <laughs> so now he thinks, if the sky doesn't allow the rain to come down, then the earth is useless. Thus now he thinks the sky is more worthy to be worshipped. Mm. Right. And then he was seeing the, the sun in the sky. He was thinking, oh, no, the sun gives the whole world brightness, yeah, and brilliant uh, color, so that all the, the trees and fruits and everything can grow, yeah? Yes. yes. And then he said, okay, then only the sun is worthy for us to worship. Yes. Huh? And then the sun... Set. <laughs> he was thinking, huh? Okay, then like that is um, the, the 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 sun is not the the god, you know. It's not the high spirit. That's what he meant, you know. So the sun is also not <laughs> not worthy enough for him to worship. And then after that, Abraham was thinking, you know, he's weighing back and forth. And he saw the, the moon comes out, and then many beautiful, brilliant stars in the sky, and how they brighten the dark night. Yeah. So he said, oh, you know, the moon and the stars, only they are worthy for us to worship. Huh. I'm just checking if I'm recording, <laughs> because you know how professional your master is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's recording. And is it plugged in? Oh, my God. <laughs> One moment, I go check if, if, the, <laughs> if the electricity is on, because when I don't use the computer, I turn it off. You see? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, oh, it's on. Ah. Oh, when as planned today. Not like last time, I record only 
Only the first eight minutes <laughs> they told me, and the rest just use a still photo. Never mind. Better than nothing. Imagine hundred years ago, where were you, right? Yes. Where was this computer? And you know, even a mobile phone can record me and and all that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. It's better when we see each other like this, or not? Yes, yes master. Yeah, yeah. You can show your show your unshaven face, your, <laughs> your new handsome hat. Okay, next time, girls, you improve. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. master. Maybe your brother can help you. All right. Yes. I can't. I can't. Even this, they had to help me. Yeah, because I can't do it. I don't know how. <laughs> I really cannot. <laughs> Yeah, everything they prepare for me, and then I just push a couple of buttons and I work. Oh, I type, you know, I type with two fingers. Yeah, sometimes three. I'm I'm getting better now. I I time sometimes two and a half or three fingers now. Before <laughs> only one, you know, only one. <laughs> I'm getting better all the time. A superwoman, huh? Yeah, yeah totally. Yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know how to please your master, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> My ego, huh? Mm. Okay. Uh, so now, so now he's uh, thinking of worshiping the uh, the moon and the stars instead, Ah? Huh? But then in the morning, the moon <laughs> moon disappear. Sometimes the moon doesn't stay all night, right? It depends yeah, yeah. on. It depends on when he was pondering on where he was pondering all this, yeah. Yes. So then, can you see me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. <laughs> all right. Then everybody's happy, okay? Huh? Mm. So that we have a little bit more uh, ambience, you know. Yes. Every time just talking, looking at the wall and asking <laughs> the wall and, and hear the wall answer you in the voice of your master. <laughs> it look really like Jewish, you know they. They go and touch the wall and worship the wall, yeah. Yes. Kiss the wall. The uh, the Muslim faithful also the same. This is their memorial, the holy wall, yeah. Mm. That left over from the the ancient uh, first temples, yeah. When when they first built it, and also the same in Mecca, yeah. Mm. The holy place of Mecca. They have also the wall, and people also go there and worship. So in their mind, they will remember the master was there. And the Prophet Muhammad was there. Peace be upon him. Yeah. Yes, yes master. Our God has appeared there. You know, so they make it like a, a a place of worship. Yeah. So every year, hundreds of thousands, millions of people go there to worship the past uh, master and all prophets, or the past memory of God. Just like the Buddhists also go to Bodhi Bodh Gaya. You know, to worship the Bodhi tree. Yes, Although yes, the Buddha is no longer sitting there, but yes. the Bodhi tree is a symbol, you know, mm-hmm. of the Buddha's enlightenment and his blessing, and his uh, presence on our planet. Yeah, first they come and worship every year, or every day actually, not just every year. Just maybe in certain times of the year there are more than the normal time. Yeah. Yes, yes master. master. Uh, then uh, the moon disappear. You know, it does sometimes in the night, and then he said, "Oh, then the moon is also not worthy enough for us to worship as God. You know, as spirit of God. They call it uh, God, a spirit, but they mean God Almighty. Yeah, yes. yeah. Abraham keep looking, keep thinking, keep pondering, and then he saw the moon disappear. Yeah." And the morning star comes out. Oh my God! In Thailand, I saw one morning star. I never saw such a big morning star like this before. I have never seen anywhere such a big morning star, so bright and so near. You know, as if you could touch it. Wow! With with your uh, staircase or steps or something, so big, so bright. About oh, I don't know about this big. You know, my big uh, like my hand oh, right in front wow. of me. And it was where I stay. Wow! You know, in the morning I saw it. Every day, every day, and I thought, "Oh my God, I don't remember my whole life. Have never seen such a big morning star like this. So bright and so big, ever so big." So when when this morning star, I'm not sure I wasn't there. You know, when Abraham was looking at it, but when the morning star came. 
the sun, the moon, and other stars disappear. I mean, it's almost morning already, so they faded, you know. So he said, "Oh, then, then the moon and star also are not God, not for us to worship, meaning not the Most High, you know." Oh, yeah. Yes. So this is not our leader, meaning spiritual leader, God Almighty. How come is that one appear and the other disappear? <laughs> you know. Uh, he keeps thinking to himself like that, yeah. And they have written something here, probably from the author. He say, this kind of phenomena or event we could compare uh, to just like somebody was walking on the street on the road, and then uh, saw a very very big citadel standing, you know, majestic there. And then uh, that, you know, the traveler on the road wants to go inside, uh, but he, he goes around, around, around the uh, citadel's outer wall, but he could not see any entrance. First, he kept calling louder and louder if anybody's there to open or to show him the way, but no one answered him. And then he saw. And on the top of the wall hangs a piece of uh, white white uh, uh, cloth. And then he talked to himself, Oh, surely in this citadel must have, uh, there must be somebody inside this citadel. Because if no one is here, how come uh, this one was hanging there and the other was taken away. Or one thing is taken away and the other one replaced it. And then uh, the guardian of this uh, citadel uh, saw the, the the traveler was so perplexed and kind of uh, confused. So the guardian of the citadel talked to him. Why do you worry so much? I am here. I am the guardian of this citadel. So, similar with Abraham, this is probably the, some comment of the, uh, the author. Yeah. So, so, similar with Abraham, when uh, he saw something disappear and something else appear, and then he would say, uh, if nobody is controlling or arranging, yeah, or uh, directing, yeah, if there's nobody who directs, Behind it, then this uh, you know come and go cannot happen. You know, like something comes, something goes. Thus, we should not uh, bow our heads and worship these things, but we have to worship the one who is behind it, who controls it, who arranges it, or the one who manages all this. Yeah, and then God, you know, the Holy Spirit. That's what they say here meaning God, saw that Abraham is so perplexed, so confused. So he told Abraham, You, the one who loves righteousness and hates the wickedness, I guarantee you that I will anoint you in order to promote you above uh, everyone, uh, all the generations in front, uh, before and after you, has made him above all generations. Yeah, that's what he has said. Wow. Did God ever tell you that? Noah? No, no Master. Has probably did, but you're too busy <laughs> working. <laughs> the Supreme Master TV calling. Oh, then we're not busy, then too tired. <laughs> no time. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hey, there's no more. This folklore, I said, is one of those stories talking about Abraham, who has realized the presence of one God, of the God, yeah, the one and only God in contrary to all others 
uh, natural worshipping systems before, you know, like many gods at that time, yeah, worshipping many gods and many uh, um, religious systems at that time. Here, the time, the time that Abraham became awakened, that is a time of uh, maturity. In all other stories before him, it should be like an uh, adolescent story, adolescent time of religion, or maybe some awakening uh, through the curiosity of someone by your mind, but not knowing the, the wonder, the mysterious wonder of the universe of God. Okay. Mm. Uh, God of Abraham, Abraham, and the Jews people is called Yahweh, and uh, it's written like Y H W H only. So Yahweh or Y H W H are the uh, the official ways to call, to address God or the Spirit of the Israeli people. And uh, according to the the viewpoint of uh, Catholic believers, this will also um, symbolize people, you know, uh, humans. That word has been used has been translated uh, wrongly, according to the author, not me. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not commenting. He says, according to Catholic, wrongly uh, translated, they say it's uh, Jehovah, mm. but originally it's Yahweh. That's what they meant, that's what they think. This has the origin from the Israeli people at the foot of uh, Mount Sinai, when it has been revealed to Moses. Although we could still find them in some of the old uh, ancestry uh, Bibles, <coughs> holy uh, books. In this, uh, oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> I think I give up from the first story already. <laughs> when I read it, it's easy. It just when I translate simultaneously because it's about religious, you know, uh, doctrine and some of the uh, terminology of religions. So in this book, the Catholic terms are comprised of three religions. The uh, Jewish religion, the Catholic religion, I mean Christian religion, yeah. and the Islam religion. Yeah. Allah is also uh, a name that uh, the Islam people use to address the God of Abraham, also their own God, the Islam people. Yeah, the Islam and the Jews, they both, uh, I say, commemorate Abraham as their own forefather. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps because in the in the course of history, some Jewish people would wander around, and they would marry with some of the Muslim believers. And third, you know, or maybe one of their kings, probably uh, in other stories they would tell you more, that they would marry in uh, some other religious uh, community or country. Then um, the children were born, thus they both worship Abraham as their own ancestor, father, mm. the one father of two nations or many nations. 
many uh, people, um, how you say, argue about the meaning of the name Yahweh. Yahweh is uh, written here, Y A H W E H. Generally, it should be understood like the one who makes everything exist, uh, the one who grants existence to whatever that exists. It's also meaning that uh, the one who already exists, the one exists, and I exist. I, Mr. God, eh? I exist. I am thus, or I am that. Yeah, it could be translated like that. To be generally understood that God, the mysterious uh, spirit, doesn't want uh, to pronounce himself, has only say, I am thus I am. Uh, so they have written uh, Y H W H. Cannot pronounce it. It is pronounced like uh, Tetragrammaton. It's something like that. So these uh, four uh, four letters are very, very, very sacred to the Jewish people. Only the highest priests should be able to pronounce this God's name in a very sacred, secret room, yeah, in the temple, in the holiest uh, temple of Jerusalem. Only and then only on the day of Đền Tội, Tiếng Tiếng Anh, <laughs> looking at each other. Thank you very much. <laughs> what the use? What the use? Huh? <laughs> no, never mind. Uh, meaning the day that you atone for your sin. That's what it is. The atonement day of sin. Okay, that's correct. Yeah, it's just how to shorten it to make it more like uh, simple and more professional. Okay, uh, you have to listen to your master. Okay, huh? Just when I translate, it's very difficult. The Atonement Day, imagine that. The high priest, the highest yes. priest appointed at that, that time, that area, can pronounce the names of God for atoning your sin, cleaning your sin. Imagine, what day is that? Initiation. Initiation day. See, we don't repeat the God's name every day loudly, but quietly. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And only the appointed, you know, my representative, my monk or my nun, would tell you the names. Okay? At the time of initiation. Remember now? Yeah. Yes, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, we don't repeat it to anyone else. And only in the sacred chamber, any chamber that is chosen for initiation. That is the sacred and secret confidential chamber. And only you and the high priest will know the names at that time. You see? Oh, yes, you got that? Isn't that clear to you? Yes, yes Master. Master. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. One moment. I need to go <laughs> to find my furniture <laughs> for, for napkin. For a tissue. Okay. No problem. Can you still see me? Yeah? Yes, Master. Yes. Yes. All right. Are you still all right? Sleepy? No, 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 Master. Good, good. Uh, I drank some tea before, so don't try to <laughs> over <laughs> overrun me. Huh? I, I'm uh, wide awake, yes. I was very tired this afternoon somehow. Suddenly, you know, and sadness overcame me. For a moment, for some moments only. But then, uh, you know, meditation dissolved it. Yeah. I did not have time to check out why. There must be a reason, okay? When I often have some certain thing happening, you know, 
sudden fever, sudden cold. I mean, cold to the bone, you know, with no reason. In a warm room, no wind. Yeah, with the heater and all that. Still cold, like, like you are in the attic without any warm clothes. Yeah, sometimes like that, or sometimes fever, or sometimes sudden sadness, sometimes sorrow, sometimes pain, you know? Hey, these are just temporary. It's just like our lives, <laughs> temporary. Yeah, every day I remember well, our life is very ephemeral, very temporary. All right, uh, ta -ta -ta. where are we? When the uh, Jewish people read the Bible, they will not uh, read uh, the the four letter, but they replace it with the name Adonai. Yes, meaning uh, Almighty God, na? Yeah? Almighty God, etc. Yeah, Almighty God, God. Yes, yes. Sacred God, Holy God. Okay. So now here, ah. Yahweh. Is also also the God of uh, the Catholic of the uh, of the Christians, including uh, the Jewish, uh, you know, Jewish, uh, Catholic, and Islam, according to this book. Yeah, God is Almighty. Yeah. Omnipresent, etc., etc. Yeah, so it's just something, some, some, some abstract presence, holy presence, so that we can know how to worship. We can have some presence, some holiness to worship. I'm just reading the book, okay, <laughs> translating as much as I can, as correct as I can. Has the only God, only God, supreme God, uh, Almighty God, uh, omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, uh, uh, making, uh, creating the universe. Has is very very benevolent, but has is also very very strict. Yes. And it's, uh, it's for us to feel fearful of Him. So sometimes people say, fear God, because has to see everything, has knows everything. You cannot do anything in, in darkness without God knowing it. Yeah, so they say, fear God, meaning don't do anything wrong. We have to do something that is just and virtuous and righteous, because God, the omniscient, God sees everything. Yeah. Uh, that was my. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the book, sometimes me. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Nothing wrong. Okay. Has God always is the sacred and and uh, one wondrous wonder wonderful very, very uh, sacred, very holy for humans. Has is always working in history, meaning he is presence, he is holiness, he is omnipotence, omnipresence, has always been, because sometimes difficult to translate, you know, the Vietnamese and the English are, although the same meaning, but they, they change it, something. So he is omnipresence, he is Activities, yes, presence it has always been in the history of the Israeli people who has, has chosen, and also in the history of humankind, so that all will look toward the same direction, together, same direction, meaning have to always remember God and do the righteous thing. So, through Abraham, Yahweh has a covenant with Israel, meaning God has granted the covenants to humans 
is not vice versa. It's not like humans uh, created covenants with God. Yes, because if the Israeli people respect and fear Him and worship Him as the one and only God, and also keep all the uh, rules, all the precepts that God has granted, then God has a covenant with them first. Yeah, and then here is what God said. For me, from God, yeah, for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of countless uh, races of humans, humans, I mean of many nations. That's what they translate it nowadays. You will be the father of many nations, yes. No one will call you, they will not call you Abram, but Abraham, or his name before was Abram, A-B-R-A-M. And now people should call you Abraham, A-B-R-A-H-A-M, just a longer, yes. Maybe it's more respectful, more dignified, or more majestic, something. Like a king, you know. The king's name is normally long. <laughs> 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 Sometimes they shorten it. Nowadays, they don't even call you king or queen or no. Mostly people nowadays, they don't have this kind of respect for the monarchy or president or this and that. I feel very bad because... To respect somebody as a president or a prince or a queen, it doesn't humble you. On the contrary, it it elevates you. It makes you look like an educated person, a very, very, uh, uh, not just polite, but, you know, it's a very, um, what's the character of this person? <laughs> Cont- cultist. Huh? Cultist. Think about it. No, scripted. Cultured. Cultured, yeah. Cultivated. Cultured and cultivated person. Yeah. An educated person. Someone with high character. Yeah. A good, good uh, esteem. Yeah. Yeah. Because you respect someone else doesn't mean you are lowly. No, it's not like that. Nowadays, I feel our generation lacks some of the etiquette. Yeah. Yes, Master. Sometimes I don't call the Queen, you know, uh, Her Majesty. Okay, maybe you don't have to all that long, but you can say the Queen instead of just Elizabeth. No? Uh, President Trump or President Reagan instead of just Reagan, this, Reagan, that. And even call them names, you know? Like I saw some on, on the TV, not TV, but in my iPhone, there are some headlines and some headlines have a long, long story with the headline. Not too long, half of it. I don't read the whole thing most of the time. Just the headline and then some explanation underneath is enough for me to know the whole story. If I keep reading every news, whole news, I would never have time to even sit here and talk to you, even at midday, midnight, yeah? Or doing all the work that you shift to me <laughs> <laughs> through the computer. Every day, books. It's like books, you know what I'm saying? Not just documents. They are books because so many, many. Yes. <laughs> and uh, some documents are very long. I remember when you printed it for me, one show about this big, you know? <laughs> you know, big big pages and this thick and many, many of them. <laughs> yeah? A lot of big, big, oh, big pile of, of papers for me to sign, to look, to correct, to comment. Or to sleep over, <laughs> sleep on top of it. <laughs> to sometimes just too tired. You know, the eyes are so tired. I told you many times already, yeah? Yes. And, and not that many times in my sleep, but sometimes I do. I must confess. <laughs> Maybe you sleep better than I. Because <laughs> you're hiding somewhere. I sleep, nobody sees. Mm.
So has said that I will place you uh, to be a father of many many human races. I will cause you to have many many uh, of offspring. <laughs> Offspring. I know the word. Just sometimes it is <laughs> too many languages. <laughs> okay, but English is, is seem to be the best already. You understand? <laughs> if I speak Vietnamese to you, you probably have to bring your dictionary and guess what is she trying to say. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and make your own comments and your own understanding of it. Uh, lucky I still speak to you guys sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes Master. Master. If I continue retreat, like real, 100% retreat, then I probably forget all the human's language. I begin to forget already. <laughs> so I talk to you sometimes, and I read some of the documents, so it keeps me a little bit refreshed. Huh? Yes, yes Master. Master. If you don't give me all this work, or if I don't talk to you sometimes, maybe a couple of Decades later, when you see me, uh, I will probably not understand what you're saying, and I will not know what to tell you. <laughs> Maybe that would be the best day for me. All right. Uh, I will cause you, this God continues talking to Abraham. Now he's Abraham, okay? Not Abram anymore, but Abraham. Wow, God is so... Picky, huh? <laughs> yeah, and has he give me the name not so, you know, majestic like that. Abraham, me, Tim Kotu. <laughs> <laughs> I, I chuckle many times. It sounds like the boy next door, you know? <laughs> and never mind, okay? What's in the name anyway? But God is so particular, you see that? Mm. Huh? Yes. Wow. Has, he's very kind of. Accurate, huh? Cannot call you Abraham, but Abraham, Abraham. What it sounds better to me, right? Yes. Sounds more, how you say, aristocratic or democratic. <laughs> no, 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 not democratic. <laughs> sounds like somebody, right? Yes, hmm. master. Yeah, the name could be important, huh? Okay. Not like my name, Ching Hai, yeah? So, God took pity on me, give me a title, Supreme Master Ching Hai, this sounds better. <laughs> but because of that name, I have, I have been, I have had a lot of trouble, you know? Yes. People keep thinking that I am, I would say, uh, high nose or something. <laughs> no, I'm just high healed, I told them. <laughs> okay. This is a problem, you know, you have this title and then people would doubt whether or not what for you have such a title. You must be maybe arrogant or something. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes, master. <laughs> Do I look arrogant to you? No, no master. <laughs> not today. <laughs> maybe. Okay. What for anyway, right? All yeah. right. It's just a title. Yeah, they didn't know at that time, you know, when I go around, when I went around the world talking, lecturing, they didn't even know I have, uh, how you say, uh, ultimate master title even. <laughs> if at that time I remember I was Tim Kutu, maybe I just tell them I'm Tim Kutu, maybe they'll be happier, you know. <laughs> it sounds friendlier, you know. It sounds more, uh, how you say, it sounds more, uh, more touchable, yeah. More accessible, right? Yes, yes. Mm, more accessible, true. more friendly, nearby. <laughs> Supreme Master Chikai. <laughs> Ultimate Master. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So I asked, uh, what more? What more? Oh, what kind of names you want to give me to give me more trouble? <laughs> what other trouble that you want to give me through any other name? Just tell me right now. <laughs> yeah. So, has to say, uh, for now, that's it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. And then, has will, God says to Abraham, I will cause you to become, has just say you, but has means also his descendants will become many, uh, become different uh, races of people, huh? different countries. And then, many kings and princes will come from you. 
it's, it's true, eh? Later on, we have King David, yeah? King uh, Solomon, from what I remember. Huh? There are maybe others. Yeah. I will have a covenant with you, uh, between you and I, and later between I and your descendants, from generation to generation. This is an eternal covenant. Thus, I will be your God and your descendants' God uh, in the future generations. I will grant you and your descendants uh, later the land that you are uh, living on. Oh, maybe he is in Jerusalem now? No, no. meaning all the land of Canaan to be your forever uh, um, possession. And I will also be their God. This is also in the Bible. Yeah. Okay, this story ends here. Mm. I think it might as well, because it's not like a children's story, you know. It's, it's very, very <laughs> serious, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, but um, other stories later on, I remember, are quite interesting and very educational. If we have time like this, you know, now uh, one midnight, I call you up and say, "Come on, <laughs> <laughs> wash your eyes quickly and <laughs> go to the room, okay? In the how you say a recording room, mm. a gathering uh, conference room, and then we can talk." I read some other stories, which make me tired <laughs> because of the translation. I wish I have this kind of book in. Could you guys find it for me? Jewish story. It say the the treasure story of of uh, 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 Jewish people. Maybe there is some in English. Hmm? It's easier for me, right? Yes. Can you try to find out on internet? Huh? Yes, master. Yes. Yeah, Jewish story. You know, I mean the folklore story. Yeah, people story. Okay. Yes. There are three of them. Some uh, very interesting, uh, how you say, literature and history of the Jewish people. Okay. Yes, yes master. The Jewish people, in my impression, are the much misunderstood race of beings. Yeah, in the world. So maybe we should learn some things about them, so we have more ease, yeah, between everybody and the Jewish people. Okay, huh? Yes, yeah. Master. If you can find it in English for me, I'd be eternally grateful. But then I have to read it all over again to find which story I like. Oh, I can compare. I can compare with this, yeah, because whatever story I read already, I just uh, like uh, fold a page, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it would take a longer time. You see what I'm saying? Looking for. You see, I fold the pages like this. That means this story I can read to you. Some stories I don't want to read. Oh, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, uh, how do you say, not appropriate or whatever. Yeah? Or maybe it's not a story. It's just uh, some recounting, which we don't really always need to know. Okay, any question about that? No, no master. No, master. No, master. no huh? yeah, this is, a, is some almost like a straightforward, easy story. You know, this story also, I think that some of it is in the Bible, right? Most of you know about Abraham. Hmm? Yes. yes. You remember the God of Abraham, you know, in the beginning also, has told Abraham that Abraham has to sacrifice his son. You know, meaning kill his son to make an offering to God. And Abraham did that. Yeah? Yes. He almost did that. But yes. then God said, no, stop. Yes. Just use the uh, the sheep is, is good enough. But I'm still wondering what kind of God who needs to have a sheep to kill a being for himself. And, by the way, Accusing us humans, or not just accusing, but teaching us not to kill. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Master. 
So maybe we go into other stories later on and we might find some answer, yeah? Yes, yes. I read it many months ago. I also forgot. Today is almost like the first time I read that story. So you, the first time heard it, I first time also, <laughs> almost first time heard it. I had some big like an impression or memory about it, but I don't remember everything. Okay? Yes, thank All you, right. Master. It's okay, no? Yes, <laughs> yes Master. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Good you, for a change, huh? Yes, thank yeah. you, Master. We have three books like this, so we will have some fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I hear the girls laughing. Where were you all this time? <laughs> okay, next time another story, okay, huh? Thank you, right. Thank you, Master. So we have many, many nice, good, very good educational stories, truly interesting, very interesting to get to know the Jews, yeah, the Jewish people and their beliefs and their history and the hardship they had to go through since the time of uh, Moses, yeah, yes. Moses, who led them through the desert. Normally they should find their, their uh, promised land, it seems quick, but... It took them 40 years, and then a lot of bloodshed and hardship and trouble. wonder how they even live in the desert for 40 years long, even though they came from Egypt. They escaped from Egypt just in the nick of time before the, the army of that government at that time changed their mind and want to destroy them all. But the sea, you know, the sea closed, the water closed back, so drown the shoulders instead separated them and the soldiers. So the soldiers never were able to kill them. But they had to lose their way in the desert for 40 years long. Wonder how they survived, hey? Yeah. Incredible, no? Yes. yes. And even Moses told them to be vegetarian even. Thou shall not kill, you know, the five precepts. He gave it to them yes. yeah. after he came back down from the mountain. It's truly it's a miracle, yeah? Yeah, yes, yes. along the way, God gave them some food, no? The manna, manna, yes. manna, manna, and all that. Perhaps that's how they survive. Okay, guys, nighty night. Thank you, Master. Thank you for listening. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for reading. Uh, I'm not sure. I wish I read it faster and more, not so hesitantly, you know, because of the translation. Okay, right, ta-da. <laughs> Good night, girls. Good night. Ciao. Ciao. No, I'm going to shut off now. Can you still see me? No. no. I can see you. <laughs> okay. Good night. See you Good next night. time, huh? Love, love, love.